Welcome 3D students. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to create a character like this one. And here is another one that I created. And both of these characters started out as a box that we turned into a sphere and then we just simply modeled from that. What I'm going to ask you to do is choose one of these characters here and create it using the techniques that I'll demonstrate in this video. Here are the two that I used and you can get this reference sheet uh, by going to the assignment that I've posted for you in Canvas. And this reference sheet is one I found on a free Vector Designs uh, website. And I don't know who the artist is or I would credit them. Here's the character in 3D Max. As you can see, I have him all set up with the studio lighting rig. I'm going to ask you to do that as well. And uh, his eye is a sphere with uh, the slice uh, parameter applied. And here I turned on edged faces so you can see the uh, edge flow a little bit. And he's not that complicated. He does have smoothing applied. If we turn that off, you can see a little better. And you can see he's pretty simple. So let's get started. So once you start up 3D Max, the first thing you should always do for a new project like this is create a project folder. So to do that, we're going to go to File, Project, Create Default. And then we're going to click the location where we want to create our new project folder. For you, this will be your DDA2 folder on your OneDrive. And then you're going to click New Folder. and name it something and then push enter and then that folder should be selected at that point and then click select folder and then if you haven't done so already go ahead and start a new scene if you are in something you can click reset and reset the scene and then let's go ahead and save this new empty scene and it should go in your new project folder in the scenes folder just name it something and click save. And now we need to create a reference plane to guide our modeling. So let's go to the front view. I'm going to push F on my keyboard. Zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going to create a plane. And I'm going to try to make it roughly the size of the image or the dimensions of the image. I know it's almost square but not quite. And then I'm going to go to the Modify tab. I'm going to right click on the spinner here under the segments and zero those out so I have no segments. It's important that you do this because when you are in Edged Faces view mode, you'll see those segments on your reference plane and it will be distracting. So your reference image plane should have one length and one width segment. And then I'm going to switch here from Wireframe to Default Shading. Now we need to place the image, our reference image, on the plane to guide our modeling. So I have already downloaded the uh, image from the assignment in Canvas and I have placed it in my project folder inside the Scene Assets Images folder and you should do the same. Now we can simply drag and drop this image on the plane and that will apply it. And that looks good. I think uh, the dimensions are okay. But we're going to need to crop this image. We don't need all six of these characters on here. So in order to do that, we need to access this uh, bitmaps settings. And since we dragged and dropped it on here, if we open up the material editor, you will see that there is no material associated with it. To get the material and access its settings, there's an eyedropper here in the material editor's toolbar. Click it and then click on the plane and you'll see the material that's on the plane pop up. Now we need to crop this image and choose the character we want to create. I'm going to create this one but you can create any one of these if you want. The techniques will be the same. So what you need to do is come to the material in the material editor and click on the bitmap and access its settings and you will see here that you can view the image. If you click on this button you'll see the image and if you right click on it you can see its dimensions it is exactly square it's 826 by 826 
So in order to avoid any distortion, I'm going to go ahead and make my image plane exactly square. And then we need to crop this. So I said I was going to use this guy. If you look, you'll see that there's a red box around this image. If you click on the edge, you can move it over and you can crop the image. Like so, I'm going to try to make it square so I don't get any distortion. Once you've done that, you can close this and then check the apply box and your image will be cropped. And then we can close the material editor. And now I want to do a couple more things before we call this video finished. I'm going to center our plane in the X. It's already centered in the Y. And the Z, I'm just going to place his feet basically on the ground. Now notice I really can't see the grid in front of him. So I'm going to switch to the top viewport. And I'm going to move him back from the origin here. Then I'm going to switch back to the front and you'll see now that the grid is in front of him. I want his feet to be on the ground so I'm going to put his feet right on this line right here. And the grid is kind of in the way and kind of annoying so I'm going to push G on the keyboard. That toggles the grid on and off. And then we need to do a couple more things here. So I'm going to freeze this plane so I can't accidentally move it. That's going to be important. So I'm going to right click on it and open up Object Properties. And under Object Properties, there are a series of checkboxes here under the Display Properties group. One of them is checked called Show Frozen in Gray. We need to uncheck that one. And then we can also freeze it here. So now when we close this, this plane cannot be selected or accidentally moved. And we are now ready to begin modeling. So in the next video, we'll begin to create the body. And I'll see you then.